of a car today that uh, this car makes a noise every morning on the startup. It makes a squealing noise. Every time you use a lot of accessories at the same time, it makes noise. So this customer is having a problem. The belt squeals, that's what I know for sure. I just wanna show you guys the noise. So if we start up this car, right now the car is hot, it's not making noise. It'll make for first five, 10 minutes, and then it'll go away. But still, he said every time he puts a lot of accessories, meaning when he puts the AC, radio, wipers on, this car squeals. If you put a defrost on, it squeals. So let's put on a couple accessories. We got the wipers running. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna put the headlights on. Put the headlights on. So this is sucking a lot of power. I know what's going on here. It's going to put load on the alternator, which is gonna cause the belt to slip. Maybe the belt is bad or the belt is loose. That's the situation there. So next, what I'm going to do is, let's kick in the AC. First, the blow motor. And then we'll put a couple of other things on. We'll turn the AC off and on. We're gonna wait for this noise to come so you guys know what the noise is. All right, right now it's not doing it, but we'll wait. There you go. That's the noise. So you heard the noise. I'm gonna go up under the hood and show you what the problem in here is. So the problem here is, this is the alternator and the AC is down there. So every time we put a lot of things on, what it's doing is it's putting load. This alternator is going under load and uh, the belt is loose on the, in this case. You see that, that belt is way too loose. So we're gonna tighten this belt up, but if you have this issue, make sure you look at the belt. Even though we're gonna tighten this up because these are new belts, we can still see the numbers on it, the condition of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to tighten this belt up that way it doesn't squeal anymore. So what we'll do is, if you have a Toyota Avalon, we're gonna loosen up the 12 down there. This is the adjustment bolt, and we're gonna loosen this one up, and we're gonna adjust this belt. First, loosen up that number 12 down there. Get a gear wrench, we're gonna put a gear wrench on that. So we're gonna loosen up this bolt down here and also this one over here on the alternator and then the alternator will be able to be adjusted with this bolt here. So all you have to do is just do like two turns. You don't have to completely take out the bolt. Enough, just two turns. And then we're also gonna get this one right here. That's a number 14. We're gonna loosen that two, two, three turns. What that doing is it's gripping the alternator in the spot. So this is the alternator bolt, uh, alternator belt, I mean. Alternator and uh, AC belt, that's it. Now, we'll go over to this top bolt here. This is the adjustment bolt. We're gonna tighten that. So we're gonna go clockwise. What that's gonna do is it's gonna pull the alternator, which is gonna yank the belt from being uh, stretched out. That's a 12. So that's a, that's a number 12. You can use a long extension to reach out from the back. So he's gonna do that at the same time, I'm gonna feel this belt. Let me bring my light a little bit over. All right. I'm just feeling the looseness or the tightness of this belt. 
We don't want to make it super tight where all the everything is being yanked. A lot of times you can try to turn this belt over if it's not turning over. That's a good sign. All right, one or two more turns and that's it. All right, that, that's about it. That looks good. All right, now what we'll do is we'll tighten this back up and plus the one in the bottom, we'll tighten them both back up and then we'll test it after that. Tighten that bolt up. That's it. And then the one in the bottom, that's a number 12. You need a wrench. You can use a gear wrench or a regular wrench. Make sure you have the engine off. You don't want to do it with the engine running. Key out of the ignition and nobody's going to crank the key in there for you. You don't want to hurt yourself. And that's it. Now we have that tight. What we'll do is we'll start up the car. We're going to go inside the car. And I'm going to put all the accessories on a few times. There's one more belt down there, which uh, is not an issue. And uh, the problem was uh, with the AC belt, because we put on all the loads with the AC and alternator, which is the power. The car, I'm going to start this car up. And I'm going to play around with all the accessories. I got the headlights on, wipers are running, defrost is on, AC is on. And this will take care of the issue for you, you know, if you're having a similar issue. Alright, there we have it, you know. The car is good. Alright, so if you have this issue with the belt squealing, that's what you're gonna do, adjust the belt or replace the belt.